Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the all new Vantru S1. Uh, it has GPS, it's a front and rear model. And the best thing is you don't have to install it on your license plate. This is a unique system. It actually just, um, the rear camera just sticks onto your rear windshield. So overall you don't have to do any drilling or anything because a lot of license plate dash cameras you do have to drill a hole through the back bumper somewhere to feed your rear dash cam. But in this system, you do not have to do that. So it's a pretty much plug and play, no drilling kind of system. So let's go to unboxing. So of course, this is the rear camera. Front and rear are 1080p. And it swivels to adjust based on your rear windshield. And here's the 3M stick. And here's the larger front camera with the two inch LCD. And the way this is designed and shaped, it's really nice. It hides really well up on the front windshield. And some of the features it has, um, of course you get 24 parking mode. So and it does do time lapse and it can take photos and set time intervals if you want to do that. If you leave your car in a parking garage overnight, that's a great feature. Also has loop recording, of course, and also G sensor. If you were to get an accident, um, it can uh, auto record. Um, with this system, you also get an 18 month warranty. You have a cigarette lighter, also, if you want to do an easy plug and play. I also got the Van True um, hardwire kit. I'll show you guys how to use that as well. It's really simple to install. And here's the wire to go from your front camera to your rear camera, as labeled right there. You guys also get a USB connection to do any software updates on from your computer. Here's a nice detailed user manual, and here's a quick start guide. And I also leave links below for the cheapest price from Amazon. You can probably get this 32 gig micro SD card for five eight bucks online on Amazon. And you can also get this dash cam kit. It's not required. Some people like making it a clean install but you can also just use a cigarette lighter so what you get into this hardware kit are the various fuse sizes so when you pop open your fuse panel in your car it's usually under the driver seat somewhere in the footwell or the passenger seat you'll just have to go to your car manual and see where your fuse panel is and everything's nicely labeled ground and red is, of course, uh, you connect to your appropriate fuse size. And hardware kit is nice, just makes it so you can kind of wire it and kind of stay out of view. So if someone kind of peeks into your car, they don't see all these wires hanging around and kind of trace it back to your dash cam. So that's a good reason why to hardwire a kit. In my truck, the fuse panel is right here, right when you open the door panel. And usually I tap into the accessory um, description one. So I'll just pop open mine right here as a picture. You can pause it and see which is the accessory fuse. And now get the appropriate size just to kind of do a visual match. And of course, only one will fit into the fuse anyways. And connect it right here and use a little crimper to kind of hit into place and then use some electrical tape. So this is the accessory fuse right there. Another angle of it, of everything wired up. And you just want to make sure this goes to a nice bare metal ground. So make sure plastic isn't behind it like that. So this one right here would be perfect. And of course every vehicle is a little different but usually there's a bare metal sc screw there that you can use here's a fancy cigarette lighter that you get it's like a dual has a usb right underneath so you don't waste a cigarette outlet so that's really nice feature vanchu provides and a really nice clear lcd screen i'll show you guys how to set all this up there's an on button reset for the rear camera and for the power 
So whether you do cigarette lighter option or hard wire, you're going to want to plug it in on that top outlet right there for power. So the initial setup, you want to put your language in, the date and time. And with this having GPS, there's also, um, you can see your location and your miles per hour. So if you have any issues with cops or anything, you can see how fast you're actually going. So here it's pretty really clear LCD screen, two inches. It's nice to review footage if you were to be in an accident or we're seeing if someone was messing around your car at night. So just use the 3M sticky tape right here. I would put as far up as I can on my front dash. A lot of cars have a little tint on the upper part of the windshield, so this kind of makes it so uh, it kind of stays out of sight from the outside. So here's the wiring. I just kind of push it in up into my headliner to keep everything out of the way and make it a nice clean look. In most cars, you can just use, use a flathead screwdriver or just literally use your fingers to peel back the trim to make all the wires hidden. So this is how I'm going to feed it down my dash right there. And our goal right here is to make it sure it um, goes back to the rear windshield. So most people will go up to the top of the headliner. There's plenty of wires, so you could go either direction. But for my application, the top of the headliner will work perfect. I'll put the rear dash camera right here. So this is really nice because a lot of other dash cameras, you will have to trace it all the way back to your trunk. And for a truck, you would have to technically have the wiring outside and exposed underneath the truck to be able to reach your um, rear license plate. So this is really nice. I have a pretty small cab, so I have a lot of extra wiring. So you can all just hide that up in the headliner. And here's the rear view. You can't see it. My truck's a little tinted, so it's really hard to see. So this is perfect. It won't attract any thieves or anything. And here's the inside view. Nice clean look. You can adjust the angle on the camera lens. And here's the front. So nice clean install. We're gonna just stuff the wires in up in the headliner, and here is it powered on. It has a nice little red LED indicator. All right, and I'm gonna show you some sample footage as well as some sample photos at the end of this video. So this is the front view, 1080p. It's me moving up the road right here. You can see everything is super clear. You can see all the license plates and the house numbers. And here's the rear footage. Some raindrops um, on the rear window back there, but yeah, I mean, that's just part of it when it rains. See, it's super clear as well, just as clear as the front. All right, here's some still photos, just as clear as the camera photos. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you.